I like this. Let's do all that. You know what time it is? It's Netflix time. This series is called Inventing Anna. About nine episodes, an hour long apiece. Episode one, Life of a VIP. Let's get it. So we got this lady by the name of Anna Savorsky. Well, she goes by Anna Delvey. Either one, I'm not exactly sure. Anna just recently got locked up, and she's in there for a bunch of counts of larceny, bank fraud, and trying to scam $41 million out of a trust fund. Yeah, she's in there for a lot of money wiring. Now, these two people are really concerned about what's going to go down with Anna. But why are they so concerned? Now, we got this journalist here that works at the Manhattan Times by the name of Vivian. And she goes to her boss's office to try to pitch this story. Her colleagues give her the confidence to do it. Here we have Chris on the right, her superior, and Paul on the left, her boss. And she pitches the idea by interviewing Anna, but Paul wants to do some lame-ass Me Too story, which has already been done by countless outlets. She's not trying to co-sign with it, but because it's her boss, she don't really have a choice. But Vivian said, fuck all that. She goes into the courtroom anyway. And basically, at this time, they're not trying to set no bail for her, because they think she's going to try to escape the country. See, apparently, by what they're saying, they're saying that she's actually from Russia, which is not exactly confirmed yet. Now, in real time, they're saying this is a true story, but some parts of it might be made up, some parts of it not. Once again, we're not really sure the details. But I'm not just just fuck all that. You ain't getting no bail. And they go send it to Rikers Island. So Vivian tries to get some information from Todd and his defender, but Todd ain't saying shit. So she goes back home to her husband and we find out she's actually pregnant. And she was supposed to go to some baby trimester classes or something like that. And he's mad because he was sitting there by himself looking like some type of asshole. In his words. He wants her to just do the Me Too story, but he also wants her to be happy. So he's on board. He's like, hey, Vivian, do what makes you happy. He's like, man, you don't put up with Paul's bullshit. Just go ahead and do it. So she mailed off a letter to Anna, hopefully that she'll take it and have some type of interview, or at least just be able to talk to her. Next morning, she gets a call actually from Anna, and she's willing to meet with her. So she got to sign some paperwork, go through a couple buses, and eventually she's going to get a one-on-one -on -one with Anna. Meanwhile, Todd's having a one-on-one -on -one with Catherine, Todd chilling with his daughter, and Catherine's willing to work with Todd to get him out of this. She's going to make sure Anna gets a good plea deal. Now the question is, is Todd going to give her the information so Anna can take it? And now Vivian one-on-one -on -one with Anna. And Anna at first seems like she's really humble, but before Vivian can ask her any questions, Anna's like, are you here on a visitor pass or a media pass? And she reiterates this a lot, because with a media pass, you get certain privileges. It seems like she really wants to talk to her one on one without people around. The problem is Vivian doesn't have any permission to do this and on top of that getting a media pass is going to take some time. Time she really doesn't have. So she goes back to her people to get some help from the court records which really don't tell her nothing honestly. While Todd gets back home to his wife Margaret and the thing is she owned a big business but her parents came in with money. Todd, on the other hand, used to be a valet before he became a lawyer. And this is easily his biggest case he's ever had. See, the thing is, he wants it to go to trial, and if it does, he'll win big. But the plea deal also looks pretty good right now, too. So he's basically conflicted about what he's going to do. Is he actually going to tell Anna about the plea deal, or is he want to take it to trial? Now, he's a good guy. He's going to let her know the situation, but he's trying to weigh out all his options. I know you're thinking to yourself, a good guy being a lawyer, huh? Yeah, right. But no, he actually comes off as genuine. The problem is, there's a lot of difficult paperwork that comes with this case. Meanwhile, Vivian comes back to work. Then she gets a letter from the DA's office stating about what she's been doing with Anna. And then Paul finds out she's busted. She gets to the office, she's thinking to herself, shit about to hit the fan. But Chris made Paul leave the office so he could talk to Vivian. He's with Paul on this one until Vivian says something about getting an interview with Anna. She says she's either months to get it done, but Chris is like, nah, you're getting two weeks. Two weeks, that's it. And basically, she's risking her job to do this. Paul's like, did you really give in to her demands? But Chris ain't worried about it. He knows she's about to be on maternity leave in a couple months anyway. So Vivian gets some information about one of her colleagues, saying that there was a hotel that Anna was staying in that they weren't charging, charging her for. Is this the lead she be looking for? She talks to this lady named Neef, and she's basically risking her job to do this. She's gonna let her check the room that Anna was staying in. So Vivian looks around the room, takes pictures and all that stuff. Then she starts looking up her friends on Instagram. Once again, keep in mind, this is November 2017. She talks to all these people, and all of them give them, like, multiple different stories. I guess Anna was a different person around everybody she met. Basically, she don't know what's real and what's not. So she's got all these pictures set up in the house, and everything she has up there of Anna is like a totally different person in each picture. So once again, she don't know what's real and what's not. So once again, she goes to visit Anna, and she's hard pressed on her having a media pass. The problem is because Vivian's not pressing the issue, Anna really doesn't have a whole lot of confidence in her. And on top of that, Vivian ends up finding out that Todd told Anna about the plea deal. And at this point in time, she's really considering it. So here's the deal. If Anna goes to trial and loses, she could get at least 15 years in jail. But if she takes the plea deal, she'll only get four and they'll deport her back to her country. The problem is if Anna takes the plea deal, it won't give her enough time to get a full-fledged interview with her. And she won't have time to be going back and forth to Rikers anyway. It's like a four-hour drive. She's having a baby. Somehow to save her career, she's got to convince Anna not to take the plea deal and go to trial. But then later on, she finds out from Todd that Anna is taking the deal. And she's not going to waste time giving Vivian an interview. So yeah, right now, Vivian's pretty much feeling like she's fucked. And as she's getting a sonogram, she completely spazzes out. Contemplating the rest of her life, she has one more trick up her sleeve. But she's not even sure it's going to work. But then as she's looking deep into the picture, she realizes the lady Neef that was working at the hotel is actually one of Anna's friends. So yeah, you know she's about to go back to the hotel. So she talks to her outside of work and she wants to know the real deal. So Vivian tells her the real deal. She's like, look, man, I don't want you to sell out to your friend. I just want the real story. And she tells her the truth. She's like, look, I need it for my career. So she gives her a small piece of information. So her next victim's the rock next visit to Rikers Island, she gets a publicist, gets herself a media pass somehow, and she gets a real one-on-one -on -one room with Anna. 
So Anna's still thinking about taking the deal, but Vivian hits her with some truth. She knows Anna doesn't want to be revered as some dumb socialite, because if she takes the deal, the world's gonna make a joke out of her. Because Anna wants to be famous for doing something righteous. At least in her mind anyway. So we get to the trial and right at the last second, Anna tells Todd she's not taking a deal, she's going to trial. The last scene is with this lady and this guy sharing martinis. And they're pissed off at the fact she's going to trial. So why they don't want her to do it? Is she tied up with some of their money or something? Are they gonna go down for embezzlement? What's the deal between these two? That's the end of the first episode, I'm all in. Infinite Ammo on Netflix, check it out, like, click, subscribe, do all that, you know what's happening, these are these events. Ah, hee hee hee, ha 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 